interesting to learn that your thought system is hardwired into you within the first seven years of your life so it explains why I can be quite tight with my money um growing up in such a large family I always knew that there wasn't a whole lot of it to waste so I took that with me and it became a bit of a um a habit even if I know I've got enough, I will still be super hesitant, especially about making large purchases. I will research the sh out of it and and not have a fear that I'm going to run out of money, but have the fear that I've wasted it on something that, yeah, that I could have got a better deal maybe. Yeah, that's interesting. After hearing that, it made me realise why for years I had like abandonment um, issues and feelings of loneliness because when I was, before I turned seven, my mum and dad broke up, my dad moved up to Auckland and my mum found a new partner, I ended up moving in with my nan and living with her and for years I wondered um, why I went and lived with my nan. I thought that I sort of got dropped off, but I only just this year I asked my nan why I went and lived, uh, moved in with her. And she said um, she actually doesn't know why. She just remembers that I come and stayed with her on the holidays and I never left. <laughs> so yeah, that really um, made me realize I little bit about myself and why I was going through the issues that I did. It was also extremely um, relieving. I would knew that you could, but knowing the process that you can reprogram your bad habits or your limiting beliefs by, um, there's actually three ways. So one of them is hypnosis. Um, which is like reprogramming your subconscious mind. Um, so hypnosis as in, so when you're just about to go to sleep, you are um, in a state called, I think it's theta, don't quote me on that, I'm still learning. But um, if you put some headphones on and listen to something while you're dozing off to sleep, um, that can help you reprogram like in the hypnosis state. Um, the second way is a way that I use a lot. Um, it's repetition and habit. So doing things over and over and over again um, that can help you reprogram your mind. Um, kind of like that fake it till you make it. Like you keep telling yourself like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Like you can literally trick yourself into believing you can do it and you can nail it. <laughs> um, and the third way I'm not quite familiar with, but um, really interested in learning about that's the most effective and fastest way is through energy psychology. Um, I'm not familiar myself. I'm still learning, but really excited to learn. Um, if you're interested, uh, look up Dr. Bruce Lipton. He explains a little bit more and how you can download Repro or reprogram your mind in matters of minutes on his website under resources you can see the 25 different ways um, that help you l learn new behaviors or ways to reprogram your behaviors so um, yeah you can check it out and see what relates with you the most I'm going to um, work on reprogramming my subconscious mind and or well, more often more than often like I feel I usually am really good with it but um I guess protecting myself and not putting myself into those situations where I do end up stressing myself out 